What's up y'all, Colin from Spark here. Today we're showing you how to change the front chain ring on an electric bike. Today's example, we've got uh, a bandit, an off-road bandit that Matt drew over a log. You're gonna need a few things, a few tools in order to do this. Uh, the first one is a little crank arm puller tool. It's like five dollars on Amazon. Uh, you're gonna need some Allen wrenches for ours. It's eight millimeters on this bandit, but that can be dependent on your bike. And then you'll need either an adjustable wrench or a selection of regular wrenches. So first thing you're gonna to want to do is use your Allen key to loosen the uh, side cap on the chain right here. Next, we take the uh, puller tool and we're gonna just want to thread it into that uh, groove there that was exposed when we took the cap off. But something important too is you want to make sure that this uh, screw here is all the way backed off. So get that all the way back. And that will allow you to screw this part in farther, which is what gives you that bite to pull the crank out. So you definitely want to make sure that this first inner piece of the tool is super tight in there or else it'll strip. All right, so you've got your larger wrench on the inner part of the nut and your smaller one on the outer. And while you hold the inner in place, you just want to turn. For me, this would be clockwise. And that is what is pulling the whole thing off. Okay. Now we should just be able to pull it right off. So something to keep in mind for replacements, you've got two different orientations. You can see one is diamond. So the orientation of this crank arm is going up. We got a diamond hole there. The other one is square. So same thing, orientation is the same, it's pointing up, but the peg hole is a square, not a diamond. So for ours, for the bandit, we would need a diamond. So I've got it right here. It's much easier. You're just gonna wanna pop it right on, line it up, press it in, and then we're gonna get our end cap from before. Just pop it right in. If you have an Allen wrench that has the uh, the L shape, you're probably gonna want to put that in there to get some extra leverage to really lock it down because there was quite a bit of slack there that I wasn't able to get. And then we just want to put our pedal back on, and you're good to go.